question for you is, hey, honey, I have a question for you. Do you love your new Helix mattress? Do you love it? <laughs> Do you love it, honey? <laughs> Like most people, sleep is really important, especially for me after my surgery and finding a perfect mattress was super important for me. And we were actually in the market to get a new mattress and Helix contacted us at the perfect time. Yeah, so thanks to Helix for sponsoring this video. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding. They are customized to your needs. They're shipped right to your front door. Everyone's body type is different and Helix knows that. So they've made a sleeping quiz that you can match your body type depending on your sleep style, and you can just find the right mattress that's just personalized, customized to you. So I am now mostly a back and a side sleeper just because I can't sleep on my stomach anymore, and so I like more of a, a firm mattress, still soft and comfortable. I'm a back sleeper until she wakes me up for snoring, then I'm a side sleeper, and I like a little bit more firm, so this is kind of like the in-between for everything. You can even take that quiz together with your partner. We did it together, and based on our, both of our preferences, it matches us with the Helix Sunset Lux. You can customize your mattress even more by adding a glacial cooling cover, which allows for the hot summer nights, or for me, I suffer with hot flashes from all of my treatment and everything that I'm going through. Dylan has a body temperature of like 150 degrees. 58, so it's, it's really nice for us um, to have the cooling cover as well because it offers just a little bit extra cooling when um, we're running hot. And the best part is just how well they back their product. There is a 100 sleep night warranty. So you get to sleep on this thing for 100 nights. That's over three months. And if you don't absolutely love it, you can send it back. They'll give you a full refund. They have financing options. 10 year warranty. 10 year warranty. If you're skeptical, you can try it out for three months for free. Try it out. If you sleep amazing, we spend one third of our life sleeping. Might as well invest in a good mattress. I love my Helix and I feel like you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, make sure and check out Helix. You can click on the link in the description below or you can go to helixsleep.com slash chatwins for $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows, which these are super comfy and we love. Don't miss out on these. <laughs> so the best part is that they're so soft you can have a pillow fight and you won't hurt your spouse. Come here. Come help me, yes. Let's go. Go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh my god. You did it? Get a Helix mattress and pillows. Oh man. And action. Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a minute, but I am so excited for this video. Um, this is one that I've been waiting for as it's been a better part of the journey and um, it's wigs. This so, has been a, a very long asked about topic. So many yeah. people ask about her wigs and mm -hmm. it's been a huge thing. She's wanted to dedicate a video to just kind of show you all her wigs and like the, the benefits. So this is her wig video and she is yeah, excited. So I get asked all the time through YouTube and social media, Instagram, like where I get my wigs from. Um, how I wear wigs, how do you put them on, what are the best kinds, all of the different questions. So I have, um, over the past year and a half, collected a little bit of a collection. <laughs> um, yeah, I, she likes her wigs. So the thing about the wigs is, for me, during the journey, once I kind of discovered wigs, because, you know, like, obviously losing my hair, Oh, and by the way, surprise, this was the surprise <laughs> showing how long my hair has gotten and how dark it is because it's completely different than mm -hmm. what you guys have seen in the past because ha I've only worn wigs the last like few videos that we've done and it's growing so long and thick and healthy and it's really fun. It's kind of at a point where... Um, I can kind of do like little fun hairstyles, like put it up or curl it. We have a little video we're going to throw in this video at a breast cancer event that we did um, where I curled it and I actually like cut bangs and just am having fun with the lengths that it's growing into. But, um, and I know I'm going to get a lot of questions of like, your hair is getting so long and it's so thick and it's so beautiful. Like, why are you still wearing wigs? The thing is, for me, I probably will wear wigs forever just because now it's like taken apart of my heart. I have just grown to love it so much. 
all the wigs so much and it's just fun. I can keep my natural virgin hair for the rest of time, which is what I plan to do because I want it really thick and long and healthy. But when I want to change it up and be blonde or redheaded or like have different browns or whatever. Pink headed. I, yeah, I have pink too. Um, That's a fun one. I can just change it up. So I'll probably be a wig wearer forever and I support the wig community. I love it. I think there's so many people out there who suffer with like postpartum hair loss, alopecia, induced alopecia from chemotherapy. I have a friend who takes medications for certain things and she's had tremendous hair thinning. And I think it can just be beneficial for everyone. Like there's an array of different price ranges from cheaper to more high end, depending on like what you're looking to spend on wigs. I have a mixture, I have a range. So I have synthetic to human hair, um, ones that range from a couple hundred to a couple thousand. And I, it's kind of become a hobby for me. I, I've been really grateful to be able to um, purchase wigs and have some, but for me it was, it was a really soft place for me because it's what helped me kind of normalize myself during a time when I was very, feeling very out of body. And so, um, yeah, we're going to focus on wigs and I'm so excited. So first I'll take my, you guys, this hair is wild. <laughs> it's like, it grows like up rather than so it has like, so much volume but i love this hair like it's here stand out let's get it it's um really really dark and rich in color and i have like different layers i obviously haven't styled it so it's just really wild but i have different layers um because i cut bangs like probably what was it a few weeks ago yeah so they're all growing in um, but it's so fun, and I wear this a lot of time now, huh? Like, oh, I'll just, wow. like, I'll just put it... You I'm like probably really, wear that more than your wigs now. Yeah, I'm really... I think I would say I'm, like, 50-50. I'm really, like, back and forth, because I love the wigs. Like, I'll always wear wigs. They're so fun, and it's just... I, I feel like I'm, like, a different person. Like, every time I wear a different wig, they all have, like, their own little personality to them now. But I love my natural hair, too, and I... Just think that's been part, like a huge part of my journey is just like being able to have fun with it. It was kind of a distraction for me as I was like bald and just feeling very abnormal. And a lot of people ask like, why don't you just like rock the bald hair or like just have the bald head? And for me, I wanted to be able to fit into society without people being like, oh my gosh, like what's wrong? Like, are you okay? Or like asking me if everything was okay or like what was going on or what I was going through on their time. I like to be able to talk about my journey when I'm feeling ready for it. And I think that was part of the mental health aspect is just talking about my stuff on my timing. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and start trying on and just kind of walk you through a few different wigs that I have and like uh, the hair nets and what I put on. Um, it's getting a little bit more challenging now since I have so much thickness and hair. Um, all in like one spot um, to put a hairnet on and to kind of like keep it flat, but let's go ahead and go through these <laughs> Love the back of it little curls. Yeah. Oh, and this is probably like three or four days So I try and wash my hair like every like four days or so just because I want all the natural oils to like seep in and just like really keep my hair as healthy as possible um, but when I get out of the shower I have like coils, like ringlets. So they usually call it chemo curls after your hair grows back. Um, but it's like ringlets and they get out of the shower and then after a few days it like falls out. But before I lost all of my hair, um, naturally I had like kinkyish, kind of like wavy hair. And now I feel like it's a little bit more curly. So we'll see how it does as it grows out. But um, yeah, it's been really fun and I love the dark. I'm like growing into this like dark hair from what I used to be like almost like platinum like white blonde so it's a huge transformation and um, you're almost as dark as me mm -hmm. look at that yeah my hair is now longer than him but when we were the same length it was like it was kind of fun huh cute okay so I want to show there's two different um 
like hair nets or um, hair bands that like I use. I think there's more out there, but for what I use, there's this one. So it has a lace piece right here if you want to get up close and show. This lace piece goes like right on the top of the um, hairline. Um, this is kind of what the other lace sits on for the wigs. So I'll show you. I don't use this one as much. I usually use a whole hair net. Um, so you place it right up there on top. It goes right around. You do the Velcro in the back. Pull this up. It's kind of like a like a sports band. If you ever like played sports and like the sweatband or whatever. You mean it's kind of like Wonder Woman band? Yeah. That's that. literally what I think. So about. this kind of sits like right on the hairnet. You can get like right up close right here. So it's right there. So it kind of like blends in. So the thing that's hard for me with this is like I have so much volume that when I put the wig on this doesn't really help put it down. This is kind of more for people who have less hair. Um, and this is just like a wig grip so it holds the wig on. Um, but for today I'm going to show you what it's like with the hair net because this is what I use most often. You can buy these on Amazon. Um, they're like, I don't know, five bucks for a pack of like 15 or 10. It's kind of like pantyhose. Um, okay, so how you put this one on is also line this up. And like, it's so nice. You see how it just wraps so nicely around the hair. You just... Where that little pony was a vibe. <laughs> tuck all of that hair up there. Keeps it nice and tight. Okay, so here we are. Have the hair net on. This is really nice because it just keeps everything super tight. And I'm going to start with the first wig that I purchased. This is like, they call it like the Holy Grail. It is... Because it's for bald people, it has silicone inside, so it sticks to the baldness, the skin, like, really easily. This was probably my most expensive one, just because it is silicone infused, and um, it's, like, really good. It's human hair, platinum blonde, so it's been treated, it's been conditioned, it's just, like, really nice. So, let me show you what the silicone infused is. So this is all silicone. This is what is supposed to stick to the baldness to help hold the wig on. Um, we had them take it in a little bit just because my head was really small when I had no hair. And um, you can see it needs to be styled a little bit. But this was my first little baby and I love her. And... She needs needs to be brushed a little bit but this was the first one so these are the ear tabs that you can use to pull you never want to pull up here you want to pull down here and I don't use any tape or glue just because I don't like it for me personally and I don't have any issues with my wigs not staying on um, I know that you can purchase wig glue and tape out there but so this is my first one. Let's get a good view of it. Stand up. So this one fits my head really tight now, especially because I have um, all my natural hair under. So I could probably take out the alterations in it. It's um, so blonde. <laughs> it's, this one's super blonde. So this was kind of my transition from what I initially had before losing my hair to um, just being bald because this is what helped me feel most like myself. Um, I will say, the first time I put this wig on, I felt like an imposter. And I just want you guys to know that it is normal to feel that way. Especially putting, like, your first wig on. I just felt like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, like, I feel like I'm in a disguise. Like, I feel like I'm doing something, like, I shouldn't be doing or something. Um, and then I just wore it for a little while, and I'm like, okay. And I think once you wear them with confidence, it's just like, it's a game changer. Like you just own it. You're like, I'm wearing a wig. You don't have to tell people if you're not comfortable with it. For me, I have, I have no shame. Like people will say, I love your hair. And I'm like, thanks, it's a wig, I love it. You know, just normalizing it and help bringing like awareness to people actually wearing wigs because I think more people wear them than we think. 
like every single celebrity. And so I think um, once you wear it with confidence and kind of just accept that you have a wig on, it's a game changer. So that's this one. Super blonde, needs to be styled, but this was like the OG, the OG wig. And also you can tell like this hairline is so natural. Like I think you can see a little bit of my natural hair there, but it's so natural. And this is like what the lace looks like right here. So honestly, if people aren't like really trying to like look and see like if you're wearing a wig or if it's normal, like it just blends in. You wouldn't really know. What do you think? I think it looks no way. It's like so no natural. Way. Yeah. Especially a guy. Like that's not, no one even thinks is that a wig. You would it's have just, no idea. And like even just like pulling it back, you can cut like little baby hairs um, to make it a little bit more natural too. It's all about how you wear it. And if you just have confidence in wearing it, it becomes, it becomes like your own. All right. Okay. Let's so do some more. This is fun. That's wig number one. Okay, so this is another human hair. I think this one is Brazilian or Mongolian hair. This um, one that I put on, this is definitely European hair. You can just tell it's a little softer and for hair to be able to take this blonde, it's usually European hair. Um, this is also a human hair wig, so um, it has a little, bit of, a little bit of highlight in there. Super pretty, I just got this one washed and styled. So this one is a hand tied and it has lace on the top and then it has silicone lining so this is what helps it stick on the head what's nice about this is it has the clasps um so this one doesn't have any of the clasps in the back it just had to be altered just because it is all silicone infused this one actually has um sizes uh where you can make it smaller or bigger for your head all right this is one of my favorites i love the color it's more of like Auburny is just super fun and flirty, and I like it. This one also has a very natural hairline, so this one is probably like one of the better ones that you can't, you you would never even know. What do you think? No, that one I think looks even more natural. Yeah, more natural. Blends with your eyebrows. Yeah, this one, love this one. <laughs> they all are just so special to me. Um, this one is. Uh, lace top and this is also hand tied in the back and this one has clips so this one's really nice because it can clip onto your natural hair or it can clip onto the hairnet it just helps it be a little bit more secure it also has the sizing right here so you can tailor it to your head and you always want to just set lift it up right here and set it back right on your hairline and I usually just Give this a little pull on the sides. This one is one of my favorites. It's It needs to be styled, probably refreshed, but like the cut of it is so cute and blunt. And I've been thinking about putting uh, some bangs on this one, but has more of a smudged root and then it goes into the blonde. So super cute. Real quick, I want to show you guys this synthetic one. This is actually amazing. This is Raquel Welch. Um, so it's good to know that you don't have to, they're not all a fortune. Yeah, and this one is very similar. Like this looks so natural, like human hair wig. It's like you can brush your fingers through it. This is like one of the better ones. Raquel Welch, their price range is between, I would say probably like 300 to 750. It's a little bit more reasonable and affordable. Also, I want to know if you're diagnosed with cancer and you are going to be going through chemo, you can have your oncologist write a cranial prosthesis for induced alopecia and you will get a prescription for your first wig. Usually it will be free or it'll be hugely discounted. So for all of the cancer patients out there, if you um, are going through chemo, make sure and get a prescription for cranial prosthesis. So this one, um, I'm pretty sure this one's wefted in the back. Um, and then this is a silk top. So this one looks really natural too. And it feels really, really good. Like this one looks so natural like human hair. Oh yeah, the roots, especially that. Really, color. really good. It needs to be styled up there because that's how it comes. But look at how natural that hair piece is up here. Like right along. And the color is so pretty 
Look at this. Look how natural that hairline is. And it's like super, super blonde right here. So that goes to show it's a really good quality wig and probably a lot reasonable than the human hair ones. Again, one thing nice about the synthetic is that you can just wash it and let it air dry and it'll hold its same style so you don't have to restyle each time you wash, which is really nice. All right, there is that one. Let's do a long one. Okay. Let's do this one. It is so pretty. I just got this one washed and styled. This is a silk top. This is hand tied back here. This one's so long and pretty. I love the naturalness of this one. If you guys saw my radiation video, this one was the one that I bought during radiation. So pretty and so natural. Mm, that one is. You haven't worn that in a minute. No. I love that. It's been, a, it's been a while, but yeah. The hair quality is really good. Again, I think this one's European as well. Um, it has a little bit more of ashy tones in there, so it's a little bit more warm. Really pretty. This one also has the lace right here. Yeah, and if you think this is fun for women, it's really fun for husbands too, because I never know which one of these I'm gonna get when she's getting ready. And it, it's cool. Maybe I'll wear this one today. Can't decide, I wanna wear every one. Every this is really I no different than guys. I know so many of my buddies wear hats every single day because they're thinning. So it's like, it's not uncommon for humans to do something about the top of your head if you don't if you're not completely satisfied with how it looks you guys are seeing the first look for this one she's never worn this <laughs> i was like you gotta get never a dark one. one and i just want to say wigs are not all look at it still has the tags you know what maybe i will do a giveaway for this one maybe hold on let's see what it looks like i might love it maybe for a cancer patient out there who has normal like natural black hair and has lost their hair maybe i will do a gifting for you for this one okay if dylan doesn't like it no it, well no, i stand by that you can give it away <laughs> hold on let's give it let's give it a shot for me i don't know if you look like cleopatra <laughs> the best look for me and i'm okay to admit that black just might be a little harsh for me but it's still fun. They're still fun to like try them out. Oh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of dig it. Here, stand up in a light. I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> it has a lot of volume. Has a pretty blunt cut, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. And this one I think is a synthetic as well. This is 12 inches long. Kind of funky. Hmm? I like it, but yeah, it, it's you definitely. It's it's one of those one of those fun ones, you know. It's fun yeah, to have it's fun. And I just want to say, wigs are not just for costumes. You can have a wig and still fit normally into society and it not be a weird thing. This one needs to be brushed because I wore this to a theme park. <laughs> and I went on a lot of roller coasters and so... It got blow dried, naturally. Yeah, it's... Just not brushed. It's like went through the wind, but it's still like... This is also synthetic. John Renault is another really good company to look into at like your local wig shop um again it's it's pretty reasonable and the hair quality is really good for the price super cute cut so it's like longer in the front and this one actually like look at how it sits right here and how it parts like it has volume like normal natural hair as if you were to blow dry it do you see that are you getting mm -hmm. that right here like those little like peaks um, that's like really good because it just it fits really naturally um, It has longer a longer cut in the front So cute the hairline Look How natural that is it's Like so good Really really natural fits in if you have dark roots like me this kind of like fits in naturally Wigs are so fun you guys like they're so fun a local cancer survivor and I actually have come together and are kind of doing something fun for the cancer community. Probably we'll be talking about it 
soon, um, but we have a lot of ideas for people in our community, um, cancer, or just looking to transition to a healthier lifestyle. Um, we have some fun things for wigs too, so yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about that. And you guys will actually meet this girl, they will show a little excerpt of a, an event that they put on just recently. It kind of shows a little bit about the nature of what they want to be doing, and it's, it's going to be awesome. We did a cancer event. You guys will meet her. Her name is Carly. She's amazing. She actually went to college with Dylan. Um, we've been like not knowingly following each other on Instagram. She saw one of our YouTube videos of the cancer diagnosis, told me she went through the whole series, took herself in and was a self-advocate for herself and was diagnosed with I think stage two or stage three breast cancer. And so we've become like super, super connected and I just love her. Her energy is amazing. She had a fitness program. She's really into health. So it just goes to show that you just need to be an advocate for yourself. She felt something was off in her body, took herself in, was told twice that she was good and healthy and young. And she's like, no, I want more testing. And they found cancer. And had she have not taken herself in, she, um, it could have been a different story for her and she's just amazing she's so strong she's like one of my best friends now and her and i have just like put our brains together we want to do something for the cancer community and just kind of bring awareness to this and help other women and other people just be advocates for themselves so we have a fun little event that dylan will put in here um where we were able to gift a wig to um this lady who's also local who just recently started chemo. When I went to get like my first wig right after I shaved my head, I, which was so traumatic for me, it was like chemo, the hair coming out was really traumatic. And Delia gave me mine and so my first one, my first really nice one, we wanted to give one to Natalie because Natalie's starting chemo on Tuesday. She shaved her head on Monday and she looks amazing. Incredible still. <laughs> During the hard days we wanted to give a wig to her um, to just remind her of her beauty, and even though it doesn't come from the outer, it comes from the inner, you have a wig that you can always go back to, and and it'll empower you to keep going, so. Yeah, yeah. so Aww, we love you guys. You. And it takes a crew. Everybody knows somebody with breast does. cancer, so thank you. Thank you so much. But you'll see her in here, and she's actually gonna be here later in the video as we go to a wig shop together and kind of talk more in depth about the wig, so. Anyways, back on topic. This one is really cute. It's more of like a caramely brown. This one's synthetic, so I would say I spent probably like $300 on this. So reasonable, you know, for a wig. Anyways, I know that's still expensive, but compared to a lot of the other ones out there, it's it's pretty good price, and this would probably be covered by insurance if you had a prescription. So to end with a fun one. Oh, this one debuted at a really cool event that I'll also put in here. Oh, this is Renee of Paris. This is also thin synthetic. Hair quality is amazing. I love this one. This is Dylan's favorite. <laughs> this one is super fun and funky. This one actually was a little bit longer when I went to the wig shop. Um, we chopped it a little bit just to make it like a little bit more, I don't know, edgy or something. If you look at this hairline, Looks so good and it's so natural. Pulling the hair back, like looks really good. But this is what I wore at my cancer walk, my cancer event. Petra, okay, you guys are here for a cause today. Let's get some cheers going. All right. Life is beautiful. This is Nancy, this is Delia's aunt. She battled breast cancer. She is a survivor. She's helped Delia through a lot of it. 
and she's been a great support. Yeah, another strong woman right here. 21 years. All right. Oh, you're beautiful. Thank you. There's Anne, there's Sherry, Delia's mom. It's like a silvery pink. It's different. I love it. Yeah. So. Stand back. Like wearing that with some like high top Converse Chuck Taylors. <laughs> yeah, you like the, you like the like little edgy. Yeah, I do. Kind of Avril Lavigne girl. <laughs> um, yep, now you know who my high school crush yeah, was. Yeah, Dylan loves Avril Lavigne. <laughs> so just living out your Avril dreams over here. Okay, so you guys saw all of my wigs that I have for myself personally, and I just wanted to come to wig shop today to kind of walk you through an experience of what it's like if you actually stop in a wig shop um, and just give you a little bit more information. But before that, um, Carly, my friend, she is local to Utah. We Whoops. met. <laughs> we met through. Um, having breast cancer, unfortunately, but it's actually been a blessing that we've been able to like grow close and um, bond over wigs because now she's a wig wearer and she and loves it. I Well, and Delia was such an important part for me in that because there is, you know, something kind of foreign about it and you're like, is this weird? Am I, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. Does this look fake? Mm -hmm. Am I, I feel like an imposter. We mm -hmm. both kind of talked about that, but when totally. Delia, explained how fun it can could be for her then I it just made me feel beautiful as part of my chemo journey and like this is a wig right now you know and my hair is growing back but it's nice to feel a little bit normal and to not have to color your hair all the time so yeah. we just want to normalize wigs and Delia made me feel so comfortable with it and so I was like we have to we have to spread the good news totally yeah I love you um love you so we have another guest here too. Her name is Haley and she actually works at this um, wig shop. It's called Head Covers by Joni in Mill Creek. So if you're local to Utah, um, you have to come and check it out. Bow down to the queen, Haley. This is Haley <laughs> and Haley. we just have all been brought together through wigs. What is this? This, <laughs> this is my fave. I'm not even gonna lie, I have her. I was gonna say, you don't do? you wear that for when her. you like yeah. do your performances? Yeah, I have her for when I do my performances. Haley is um. I'm a singer in a band. I, I sing in so a awesome. rock band. They're so cool. <laughs> this is the first wig that Delia gave me. I learned from Haley how to put on a wig. You hold it at the back where your tag is. So you want to hold from there and you right. bow, bow into it. You bow to the wig. Bow to the wig and pull it over the nape. And then, and then flip like you're in a shampoo commercial. Ha! <sighs> Please do that Beautiful. in slow mo. <sighs> slow mo. There you go. <laughs> and then you do your ear tabs, which we were kind of talking about. So now you all know what ear tabs are. Mm -hmm. Then you me. check your hairline. Oh wait, you have a little secret too. You go like this. Oh yeah. So if you go like this and kind of just edge up us. So we're just going to sit here and look like turtles. <laughs> turtle, turtle. <laughs> It'll make sure that you're sitting just right 
in the nape where it should be, like off your occipital. So crazy. And then you check your hairline, and as long as Coming you... Coming up close. Mm-hmm. See that hairline grow? Awesome. And I don't even have one of those little, like, Headband bands. Things on. Oh, the grips. Yeah. Grips are amazing for keeping your wig on. It's a velour band. I don't like the silicone ones. I hate the silicone. so tight. Don't get the silicone. Yeah. Go with the velour. I made that mistake. It's yeah. terrible. Go with the velour with a lace front. Super comfy. Keeps them on. Joni goes and rides, rides at Lagoon. She rides roller coasters <gasps> no with way. her wig on, and it doesn't go anywhere. That's amazing. So, I, I actually rode on a motorcycle with this and -uh. it stayed on. -uh. That's amazing. Just That's to awesome. like see. But this was one of the only ones I could do it with because of how it was, it's fitted and mm -hmm. it has a little bit of, I think, silicone around the rim. Yeah. So yeah. whatever okay. you did to Adelia, cause you created this, <laughs> this beauty, it does not move at all. I just bought that awesome. one. So they, they altered that one a little bit and it fits you perfectly. Love it. It's good. So now we're going to try some wigs on. Yeah, let's have let's some fun. Go, let's have some fun. Let's All right. Do it. So this is just one of the styles that you can do. This is the lace in front, the hand tight in the back. So this is a synthetic. So mm -hmm. synthetic are really nice because most of the time you can just wash them and it'll hold the same style and they're a lot cheaper um, than human hair wigs. It's really nice just to throw on. These ones are usually pretty good quality as well. Yeah. Look how good the hairline looks. Yeah, the hairline. Yeah, hairline looks amazing. You can pull it back and you wouldn't even be able to tell. Bow to the wig. <laughs> it's super cute on you. You look so very, good and dark. And especially if Haley styles it and everything, it just makes it look really awesome. Yeah. So there you go. This it. one is 412 Synthetic Smart Lace John Renault. That's an L. An L. I love it. So this is the style when Delia turns 50 <laughs> or 60. <laughs> if you have Alopecia, I can't take myself seriously that I'm talking. You look so cute. Mm -hmm. Delia can pull off anything. I'm like, no, you're hot. No. Let me show a trick with this too. Okay, though. we're going to show a trick. Water. That's all this is. Okay. Just water in a spray bottle. If you want like more PC, wet it down, piece it out. If you don't want it so poofy, water again yeah. and like smooth it out. Water on a synthetic is your best friend. Yeah, That's you taught good me to that. know. Mm -hmm. It gives you... It just kind of places it and trains it where you want it to go. That's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. So oh, it kind of like sits down mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. You're kind of like uh, Jackie. Wait, who has the short Twiggy? You're like Twiggy. Twiggy. Oh, thank you. Good brunette compliment. Twiggy. I love that. Hi. I love it. <laughs> but we, you know, if you're going through alopecia or you have induced um, alopecia from chemotherapy or postpartum hair loss, if you're on medications, I have a couple of friends who suffer with a couple of different mental um, illnesses and it causes hair loss, you know, there are so many different things that I feel like people can be drawn to wigs, but for some reason they're like weird or they're taboo and like people don't like to talk about them. And I think as like young cancer survivors, we kind of were pushed in the direction of wigs without really even, you know, like wanting to, but we found such a love for them, especially just throughout this journey. I feel like they've been so fun and they've shown a part of life that can we can feel normal again when we want to and we can be bald when we want to bald and um, beautiful also we can get ready in like five minutes yeah it's amazing there's like, so many con there's so many pros so to wigs i was like oh my gosh this is why my husband can get ready so fast because totally. like the hair takes <laughs> so long yeah. you know what i mean so like, without delia i don't think i would have been able to really get a lot of education on it and it is a little like you know, you need you need somebody to guide you through, and so it's really nice to like normalize it because more people are getting diagnosed younger and younger. Mm -hmm. And I felt so like sad about the wig thing when I first started until Delia was like, "No, let's make it like fabulous." And of course, mm -hmm. she's like a model and she's gorgeous, mm -hmm. and she's like, "This is this is so fun." I think it's so fun. Like I just like I've said, you know, like I'll probably wear wigs forever. I'm sure multiple people watching this video would be like, well, your hair's growing back and it's thick and it's growing long. I'm like, why are you still wearing wigs or talking about wigs? And it's like, I mean, they never are going to go away for me. It was part, it was a huge part of my healing journey and something that I found such a great love for. And I think I'll just wear them just for the fun of it so I can keep my hair virgin and natural and healthy, but still be platinum blonde when I want to. So like fun. this wig that Haley colored for me. So oh my gosh, please try that on right now. <laughs> it's like Gorgeous really similar blonde. to the blonde I was before I lost all of my hair, so really pretty thank you yes you're so welcome so anyways this is head covers by Joni if you guys are local and you're looking for wigs just to come in 
and kind of like uh, normalize or just get familiar with wigs. It's super fun place to just yeah. pop in, say hi to Haley, and she'll help you. She's amazing. She has all the knowledge and can educate you um, kind of throughout the process. Yeah. So. Yep. Anyways, so that's some of the wigs that I, you know, I have and I wanted to share with you guys just to kind of give a little bit more insight and information because I know a lot of people are asking about wigs and a lot of people want wigs and have a lot of interest in them and I just want to let you know that they are not weird. It is not a taboo topic. Like they are, let's normalize them. They're not just for costume. Anybody can wear them. Anybody can feel confident in them. They're so fun. I think it's important to note we understand that not everyone's gonna be able to go and buy all these wigs and that's completely understandable. She found a love for it and she wants to do a lot with it, but yeah. it's important, I think, to just go find one. Find one that you feel like it's the most yeah. you, that you absolutely love, yeah. and wear it whenever you want. You don't need to wear it every day, but it's totally normal, and it's so normal in my life that I almost can't even think of, like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, why doesn't every single girl have just at least one or two just to change things up? Every I know, girl would love I, it. I always said, like, how did I go so long with the same hair color? Like, I can't, that's so boring. That's so boring to not like change it up. And mm -hmm. although I know people can't go buy a collection of wigs, I, I think that's been one of the like beautiful blessings of my cancer journey is being able to kind of like release so much through my cancer journey and have this like beautiful transformation where I can now have a love for wigs and be able to wear them for the rest of like my life probably and not have to use all the chemicals and the toxins and hair coloring and um, just be able to throw something on. Another huge perk is that um, you get ready in five minutes. And <laughs> she beats me. She beats me. And I, I, like, I get ready pretty fast for a guy with all my primping. No, I actually, but she's, yeah, I'll get ready real quick. And then she's just waiting for me out of the door. I'm like, it's actually kind of incredible. Yeah, it's the best. So... Anyways, we wanted to do this big video and get all this information out there for you. And just to let you know, we have something for the cancer community that we're doing and hopefully might be able to offer good prices for wigs if we do something with that. We just wanted to say we love you. Um, thank you always for the constant support and love and we will see you soon.